Hello, today I want to talk to you about our seniors and how to help them. I'm concerned about them and I want you to help them during this time of challenges. As a pastor, I want to thank you for taking care of your parents, your grandparents and other elderly persons, which is very, very important. I'm sure there are those of you who have some concerns. The other day, a person said to me, said, Pastor, my mom, who turned 61 this week, said she feels vulnerable because all of a sudden she fits people are making, uh, all the fit people are making over older people. Listen, it's time to talk with your parents, your grandparents, your elderly, about how they feel about the pandemic. You should open the door with questions rather than jump in with facts. For example, ask them, what have you heard about this condition? If it seems like they might be underestimating the severity, then you could say, do you want to know what I'm worried about? Allow them to invite you into their conversation versus you jumping into a conversation and facts. Then you might want to tell them what you've done to prepare for the pandemic on their behalf, like how you are uh, buying groceries, how you're canceling plans and stocking up on at least 30 days of medication, and then they'll all of a sudden be comforted. You see, this allows you then to convey your concerns for them without talking down to them or forcing them to do anything. And lastly, never forget the tone matters. Despite the urgency you might feel, it's important to avoid pressuring or badgering family members who are older into a certain course of action. You know, this leaves most people feeling angry and misunderstood or inclined to more strongly defend their position, which are all counterproductive. If your family members won't budge, if your seniors won't budge, even after you've offered information and shared your concerns, then you should respect their decision to avoid hearing you and damaging your future relationships with them and keep space open for the future conversation. Whatever you do, pray for them, be kind to them, and be supportive to free them from their fears. God bless you. This is Pastor Macon. We love you so much.